everybody, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to throw together just a quick ham salad, salad recipe. Mom used to make this all the time when we were growing up and she also made it not only with ham, but with bologna, which I thought was just as good. So this is just something I grew up with. So I'm good. I got about two and a half, three cups of ham that I just chopped up and I'm just gonna pure, not puree it, but I'm gonna break it down into smaller um, grind. You don't want it totally much. Oops, still one piece in there. There we go. I was going to use my larger stand or larger uh, food processor. I can't find the base to it. So we are stuck with the small one. We'll just be doing it a couple times here, bringing it together. Like I said, you can do this with ham, you can do it with uh, bologna. I grew up probably more with bologna than I did with ham salad. Put that back. Put this in, the last bits of it. Now I'm also going to, instead of putting onion in, I'm putting <clears throat> um, onion powder, but I am gonna put a couple of peppers in here. Just give it some color. I've got three of these sweet baby peppers. Let me grab my knife. And I'm just going to take off the top. And bring out the ribs in the middle. Looking down in there, it's a little dark at the bottom. Take off the bottom here. And then just give this cut. And I'm just going to put this right in with the um, ham so it can all process at the same time. Make it a little bit easier. You can do it individually if you want. You can even chop these up. And, but I don't want big chunks of pepper in here. I want it pretty well minced. So I'm just going to put it in with the ham. This was always our go-to in the summer. Mom would have a big bowl of ham salad or bologna salad in the refrigerator. Just slap it on some white, nice soft white bread. It was delicious. You can also serve this with crackers. You can put it in celery sticks, serve as appetizers, but the best way is just right on white bread. All right, so let's bring that together. Whoops. You know what? Probably been better if I put the uh, knife blades in there. <laughs> Okay, let me get a little bowl. Actually, I'm just going to pour it in here. Put it all the back in. Always cuts better with the blades, I guess. Like I said, you can use any kind of leftover ham that you have. If you have a ham from Easter or just on Sunday you had a ham, you can use canned ham, the pre-cooked canned ham. That works just as fine too, if you have that in your pantry. These peppers don't wanna get down in there. Maybe we should have done the peppers on their own. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take out the ham because I don't want it all pureed. Let me get all that out and I'll just put the peppers in. we just pull out the peppers. Make sure we put the blade in this time. There we go. That's how you learn. Okay, I think I got all the pepper out. That's my hands off. There we go. That is much more like it. And like I said, you don't have to put the peppers in. 
It's just something I like, a little bit of extra crunch. And they're not hot peppers, they're just sweet peppers. So there's not gonna be any spice added to this. And to this, I'm going to move everything out of the way. Put about a teaspoon of honey. I'm gonna let that sit upside down for a second because I don't have much left. Get it down to the bottom where I can pour it out. I'm gonna put about a cup of mayonnaise. Now I'm gonna put about two thirds of it in just to make sure that that is enough. I don't wanna get it over mayonnaise. I can put more in, but I can't take it out. And I got about two thirds to three fourths cup of sweet relish and a teaspoon of onion powder, which I told you earlier, and about half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Put those in, along with yeah, that's a about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And we'll put about a teaspoon of the honey in. I'm just gonna bring this together. And I usually refrigerate this for about an hour before making a sandwich, just let all the flavors come together. But I'm going to be tasting it right away because I haven't made this in a while and I've been craving it. Yeah, see that's plenty wet enough. I don't need that other two thirds cup mayonnaise about a third cup mayonnaise. Now you could also add cheese to this, shredded cheese, um, celery. My mom, I think, put celery in hers. But this is just a nice, simple ham salad or bologna salad if you want to substitute chunk bologna for that. I've got a small couple dinner rolls left here. I'm just going to use one of them. taste. Before I make a sandwich, I'm going to taste it, see if I need some salt and pepper in it. I didn't salt and pepper because the ham's usually nice and salty. Mm. Came out perfect. So let's put some on a roll. There you go. So this is my ham salad. You can make it bologna salad. It's great to put in the refrigerator to have to go to on the weekends or even during the week just to grab a quick sandwich. Let me give it a taste. Hmm. That's a, bring back lots of memories. I grew up eating this at grandma's and at mom's. So give this a try. I'll put all the ingredients down below. List them out. I'll also put it on my website, gregs-kitchen.com. So you can print it out if you'd like to do that. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe and the bell. That way you'll get notified every time we put out a new video. So until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.